So I um, started off my rugby playing uh, in Kirkcaldy, which is my hometown team. Then went to university, played with Aberdeen Grammar, um, played with them for six years. Then with work, moved to Edinburgh, played with Harriets. Um, in between, played sort of various rep teams, um, Caledonia Reds, Scotland Club 15, and also played with Edinburgh Rugby as well. So if my girlfriend and I had both finished training in our respective uh, jobs and she got offered a job out in Australia and uh, we just kind of thought it would be a good opportunity to come out here, experience a different pace of life, you know, new experience. So, um, so yeah, that was the reason and uh, we had a few options within Australia and I knew Gus from when he played in Scotland, Gus Hamilton, and that was the sort of sort of got, got in contact with him and he said, you know, he recommended Melbourne, so it's a good city to live in, to work in, and that was the reason behind us choosing, choosing here, really. So my background's in legal, so I qualified as a lawyer before I came out here. So currently working with a law firm in the city. Um, so yeah, I've been there about a year and a half now. Uh, really enjoying it, really good, different environment, different office environment, good fun. Yeah, I think the, the, the Dewar Shield's been good so far. I was, um, I don't really know what to expect Speaking to, as I say, I spoke to Gus before I arrived out here and he said, you know, it's a bit of a mixed bag. There's good level, you know, strong teams, teams that aren't as strong. Um, but playing in it, I've been, uh, been quite surprised. There's a lot of good talent in Victoria and I always had the impression back in Scotland that it was Queensland in New South Wales that uh, were the sort of main, the main rugby places, which they are, but um, I've been very surprised about the sort of strength and depth in Victoria and the amount of good players that have played in the Dewar Shield. It was a good season. It started off a bit slow, actually. We uh, we lost to Melbourne Uni and Box Hill the first two games, and after that we just got better and better. And halfway through the season, the team were looking really sharp, and we won the big games, Melbourne Uni away. Um, we also won the sort of preliminary uh, final, whatever it is, against Box Hill, and we're looking really good. So. It, you know, coming into the final, I think all the boys were confident. We knew that we had a really good team, and everything would work for all season. Kind of, we put into practice for that eighty minutes, and um, you know, ended up winning quite convincingly, which everyone was really pleased about. So yes, I was uh, picked uh, in the Melbourne Rising team for the NRC last year. Uh, featured in about, I think it was five out of nine games. Really enjoyed that. Obviously a big step up in terms of professionalism and the quality you're playing against and with. And it was really good fun. And uh, off the back of that, um, got invited to do a bit of pre-season with the Rebels and was lucky enough to play um, well, play in a pre-season trial with them against Auckland Blues in New Zealand. Got, got about 20 minutes in the park or something like that. And again, it was really good fun, really enjoyed the experience. So hopefully there's a bit more to come. I'm really enjoying my rugby at the minute. Got a great bunch of guys here at Harlequins. Similarly, playing with the Rising, really good, uh, really good team. Really enjoy being involved in that sort of professional setup. So, I'm just going to keep trying hard, keep training hard, keep trying to play as well as I can, and we'll see what, and we'll see where it goes from there. But in terms of goals, I don't have uh, anything lined up. I'm just going to try to keep on enjoying it for as long as I can.